Welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at problem 21. It is from chapter 2 of College Physics 2E by OpenStax. In this problem, we have a well-thrown ball caught in a well-padded mitt. We are given the deceleration and elapsed time for when the ball first touches the mitt until it stops. And we need to find the initial velocity. Okay. So we're given a deceleration, that means the ball is slowing down. And that makes sense because the ball is moving when it touches the mitt and then it stops. Okay? And so that means acceleration is opposite in direction to velocity. And so let's choose the velocity to be in the positive direction and then A is in the negative direction. Okay, so for what we know, we know A is minus 2.10 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared. Okay, so acceleration is negative. We have an elapsed time. Let's just use T instead of delta T. And that is 1.85 milliseconds. And they tell us a millisecond is 10 to the minus 3 seconds. Okay. The ball is moving when it first touches the mitt. That's a V naught. That's what we need to find. And then the time goes until the ball stops. And so our V final is zero meters per second. Okay. And so we know acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity over elapsed time. Multiply both sides by T we get A times T is final velocity minus initial velocity. Add the initial velocity to both sides. We get V naught plus A T is equal to V final. Okay, subtract A T from both sides and we get initial velocity is final velocity minus acceleration times time. Okay, let's make our substitutions. Final velocity is zero. The ball comes to a stop. Minus, and now we have acceleration is minus 2.10 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared times the elapsed time. This is 1.85 milliseconds. And what I'm going to do is swap out the m in millisecond for a times 10 to the minus 3. and then we have seconds. Okay, I did this calculation and I found the initial velocity is 38.85 meters per second. And so to three significant figures, this is 38.9. So that's how fast the ball was going when it was first, when it was, when the ball first hits the mitt. So as he's catching or she's catching the ball. And so it'd be nice to know what this is in, in miles per hour, just to give us a sense of a meaning to the number. And so we can do a conversion. So 38.9 meters per second is certainly equal to itself. And then in one kilometer, there are 1,000 meters. And then in one mile, there are 1.609 kilometers. And then we have seconds, so there are 60 seconds to a minute. And 60 minutes to an hour. I did this calculation and I got 87.0 miles per hour. So that ball is moving pretty fast when it's being caught. I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.